For the 75th year, New Yorkers celebrated the world's largest display of Italian-American pageantry along Manhattan's Fifth Avenue. To organizers of the annual Columbus Day Parade, Christopher Columbus remains worth celebrating. To me, uh, Columbus will always be Columbus Day. And any, any of those people in those days, you have, we have to remember the good that they did. Let's forget about all the other controversy. It's a suggestion that has long divided Americans. Honor tradition or correct history and rectify the past. The Europeans essentially tried to eradicate us. Uh, they brought disease. Uh, they brought, you know, they, they banished us to uh, reservations later on when the U.S. government um, became an active force. One of the first two Native American women elected to the U.S. Congress and a member of the Laguna Pueblo, Deb Holland recently co-sponsored a national resolution to designate the second Monday in October Indigenous Peoples Day. There's 573 distinct tribes right now in our country and um, we're all diverse and I, I just I think that it's a it's an excellent way for us to celebrate the diversity and recognize uh, that when other indigenous people come to this country um, that there's a place for them also. Holland and a growing number of Americans are speaking out about what they call a misnomer in Columbus Day. America, she says, was never discoverable in the first place, a concept that runs in direct contradiction to decades-old American history textbooks and the people who defend Columbus's legacy. In their minds, in accepting the truth is somehow shifting the power. Uh, that it contributes to the loss of power by a minority over the majority. And I think that these attitudes and behaviors are so deeply entrenched that it is really based upon fear of losing a narrative as false as that narrative is. <laughs> For the first time in state history, New Mexico officially replaced Columbus Day with Indigenous Peoples Day in 2019, joining a growing list of several states and more than 130 cities that have legally renamed the holiday. Festival attendees in the state's capital, Santa Fe, say it marks progress. The truth is the truth. And, and so uh, with uh, Indigenous Peoples Day, it's a, more, it's a step in that right direction. While others at New York's Columbus Day Parade say it shouldn't be an either-or decision. Those who want to honor Columbus, then they keep that day. But those who want to honor the ones who live before us, like the indigenous people of America, if they want to honor them, that's okay too. Ramon Taylor, VOA News, New York.